The Women's Only B licence, they've been together now for 12 different days over the period of the last year. They're working away great, they're, they're a group of, group of six of them that have been working away uh, and when they're not with us, they, they do tasks and assignments and then when they come into the central venue, we get, we get the guest speakers in and they do their coaching practice. For us it's great, it's, it's been out there, um, you can build yourself up and you can probably get a bit nervous in, in terms of what you're delivering but it's great once you're out there and you're on the pitch it becomes a lot more natural so to be put in that environment on a more regular basis on the course it's obviously putting you in good stead for what's to come. Coaching with, with each other, we know obviously a lot about one another and it's just quite a comfortable environment to be in. We can bounce off one another, give each other a wee bit of advice and uh, we know that people can take it and things like that, so it's it's good to have the girls around. We do get females obviously attending our, our, our mainstream courses along along with males as well, so it's just trying to make a more comfortable environment to try and encourage them along. I think it's always something that, that people have said that I've been destined to do. Um, I don't know if that's just because I talk a lot of training or uh, I talk on the pitch quite a lot, but it is something that I enjoy. I'm finding it hard to be a bit more diplomatic, I think, when I play. I just get to <laughs> express myself. Um, there's a few of us that are having to agree with each other this week, which doesn't often happen, especially at um, club level. <laughs> it's great to, to get a chance to finally go out and to see if I can put it into practice and actually do a bit of coaching as well. We've got Pauline MacDonald at the under-17s, Pauline Hamill with the 19s and, and Shelley Kerr with, with the international squad. So three good role models for, for the young female players to aspire to in terms of you know going through their own playing careers. The, Pauline, Pauline and Shelley all had, had, had good careers in the game. There's more and more opportunities now, whether it be in TV or whether it be in coaching and things like that, for, for women to get involved in the game. So um, it's great for me at this point in my career to see that there are opportunities beyond playing. Um, and that's just something that I now need to go and pursue um, once I, I finish playing. It just shows that the opportunities are there. It, you know, if you're good enough for the job, I, I don't think it matters really if it's male or female. I think if you fit the job and you're good enough to do it, then obviously you should be able to put your name forward for that. We set ourselves on a quite an ambitious target a couple of years back where we wanted to have 10% of, of our overall coach education attendances were from female coaches. So we've achieved that this year, thankfully. Um, we will get in excess of, of roughly 10,000 coaches um, and this year we've hit 1,040 so we've hit that 10% figure. The guys on the course have been fantastic, like their knowledge and just expertise on the pitch, off the pitch, um, it's been a great help to us. It's just about learning and, and developing as much as I can in the time that I have um, and then hopefully, as I say, get more coaching experience and hopefully get into to coaching in the, the women's game at some point. It puts us in a good stead, I think, once we step back for our, our playing days um, to be able to go straight into coaching if that's what we choose to do. But for me, it's just they're now just learning and enjoying and adding another string to the bow.